Hello everyone. Today I will be introducing you to GeoStudio, which is a suite of software products as part of the larger sequence solutions. First, let me introduce you to GeoStudio. GeoStudio is an integrated software suite that was originally developed for geotechnical engineers and earth scientists. It was originally developed for modeling soils, but with recent improvements to our features and functionality, GeoStudio has grown to enable you to simulate rock materials. This expands current capabilities of the software suite to consider any subsurface projects, which may be of interest to hydrogeologists, geological engineers, geologists, environmental engineers, and many more. All of us at GeoStudio strive to make rigorous numerical analyses practical and accessible to all your subsurface projects. We acknowledge that you, the user, have limited time to dedicate to numerical analysis, so the tool has to be simple to use with powerful tools for results, interpretation, and reporting. Next, let's review the growing number of products that make up the GeoStudio suite, which allow you to solve a wide range of problems. First, let's talk about Slope W. Slope W is the leading slope stability software for soil and rock slopes. It can effectively analyze problems with increasing complexity for a variety of slip surface shapes, pore water pressure conditions, soil properties, and loading conditions. The remaining GeoStudio products that you see here are finite element software. SeepW, for example, is for modeling groundwater flow through porous media. It can model the simplest of problems considering only saturated, steady state conditions through to the more sophisticated, complex, that requires saturated and unsaturated transient analyses with atmospheric coupling at the ground surface. Geometry of your domain can range from true 1D analyses, 2D cross sections, axisymmetric, or even three-dimensional groundwater flow. Sigma W enables you to analyze a broad class of problems in the civil and mining sectors. It can be used to simulate stress and deformation in soil, rock, and structures. The Sigma W analyses can range from the simple linear elastic simulations to soil structure interaction problems with non-linear material models. Quake W can be used for analyzing earthquake liquefaction and dynamic loading. You can use it to determine the motion and excess pore water pressures that arise due to earthquake shaking blasts or sudden impact loads. Temp W enables you to simulate heat transfer and phase change in porous media. It can be used to analyze simple conduction problems through to complex surface energy simulations with cyclical freeze-thaw. Similar to SEEPW, you can choose to analyze your thermal problems in a range of geometries from true 1D analyses through to complex three-dimensional heat transfer scenarios. CTRENDW can be used to simulate a vast array of geo-environmental problems involving the movement of dissolved solute species or gases in porous media that originate from either man-made or naturally occurring sources. It can be used to analyze simple diffusion-dominated systems through to complex advection dispersion systems with first-order reactions. AirW can simulate air transfer in mine, waste, or other porous media. The true power of AirW is unlocked when it is coupled with TempW to analyze forced convection heat flow and density-dependent airflow, but it can also be used to simulate simple, single-phase air transfer problems. Finally, Build3D is a software tool that can be used with GeoStudio to construct 3D analysis-ready geometries. It can be used for the quick construction of three-dimensional geotechnical models with complex topography or geography, sweeping tunnels, and 3D geometry from CAD files. Build3D is also your connection 
to other sequin products through central interoperability, including the ability to import your geological model directly into Build3D. Now, you may be asking yourself, why choose GeoStudio? We have asked our users for their input on what makes GeoStudio their go-to software package. And these are some of the reasons that they have laid out for us to share with you today. One of the first things that we hear relates to the rigorous formulation of the GeoStudio products and their interoperability. GeoStudio products are integrated, meaning that you can use multiple analyses, multiple physics, and even multiple geometry in a single project file. This gives you the power to easily couple between analysis types and products, solving multiple physics on a single domain. Multiple geometries in a single project file also gives you the ability to review various geometries, such as analyzing the optimal slope angle for your pit slope. These geometries and analyses all can share the same list of materials, making it easy for you to modify a material property in a single location, with this change being propagated automatically throughout all analyses and geometries that use the same material. The simple UY and UX is shared across all geometries and analyses, making it easier to learn and use GeoStudio. Various tools are also available for result interpretation and export including the ability to plot your results over time or distance. The many features and capabilities of GeoStudio allows the products to be used across four segments as part of the sequent portfolio. Naturally, this includes both the civil and mining sectors, but also to a lesser extent this includes the environmental sector for issues involving groundwater resource development and protection. The use of GeoStudio in the energy sector is also growing for projects that require coupled groundwater flow and heat transfer analyses. Within these segments, there are various solutions that GeoStudio's integrated products can be used for. Let's review a few of these solutions in more detail, including some of the multitudes of example files that are available on our website for diving deeper into the individual product's functionality. First, Let's take a look at analyzing the design of reinforced walls and slopes. There are a variety of options for simulating mechanical reinforcements in GeoStudio. These range from geosynthetics to tieback anchors or retaining walls. In a more rigorous analysis, the structural component properties can be included in a stress deformation analysis, so the forces and moments in the structure can be computed along the interaction between the structure and the ground. A stability analysis can also be carried out with all or part of an assumed structural load component applied to the sliding mass. Whether it's wall loading, deformations, or stability, GeoStudio has a method to address your concerns. Here is an example of a mechanically stabilized earth wall being simulated using slope W. When designing an MSC wall, you must consider the geometric configuration and reinforcement requirements to ensure external and internal stability. In this example, the objective was to demonstrate how slope W can be used to analyze the slip surfaces that pass through the reinforced zone behind the MSC wall. It used the Morgenstern Price method in this analysis with material properties varying for the foundation, retained soil zone, and reinforced soil zone. Steel ribbed stripped reinforcement was simulated using the geosynthetics reinforcement option, which were added to the domain at an approximate vertical spacing of 0 0.75 meters. Next, let's talk about dams and levees. A very large percentage of our customer base works on the design, construction, remediation, and management of hydraulic structures. These structures are often required to limit water losses and pour water pressures through the barrier. With GeoStudio, you can evaluate the performance of dams and levees with varying levels of complexity. 
the seepage, settlement, filling and draining, and stability performance of the structure can be simulated during the entire construction sequence. The response of the structure to earthquake loading, ground freezing and thawing, or other land climate interactions can also be investigated. Let's explore a couple of examples from our website that illustrate how you can use GeoStudio to effectively analyze dams and levees. In this first example, we see an integrated project of the Upper San Fernando Dam, which uses various analysis types that are dependent on each other. All analyses in this case use the same 2D cross-section geometry. The first step was to create a steady-state seepage analysis using SeepW to simulate the long-term initial poor water pressure conditions. Next, the initial total and effective stress distribution throughout the dam was established, which can be conducted using either the Quake W static type analysis or a Sigma W in situ analysis. In this case, the Quake W analysis was chosen with the parent seep W pore water pressures used in the static stress analysis. The next step was to create the dynamic analysis using Quake W to simulate the earthquake. This analysis is used to determine the excess pore water pressures that may develop and to identify zones where the soil may have liquefied. To compare the factor of safety of the slopes pre and post earthquake, slope W analyses were added to both quake W analyses. Finally, a sigma W stress redistribution analysis was conducted to estimate the movements of the post earthquake conditions. This example demonstrates the advantages of product integration in the GeoStudio software suite, as a much clearer picture of what happened can be reached using the integration of multiple products. Let's look at one more embankment example. In this example, both 2D and 3D geometries are used to consider the rapid drawdown of a reservoir on the poor water pressure conditions in an embankment. Both the 3D and 2D pore water pressure results can be used in a 2D slope stability analysis to review the changes in the factor of safety over time. This example is very simple, but you can imagine the possibilities of comparing the influence of adding the third dimension to your project, all within the same project file using the same list of materials and boundary conditions. In the mining sector, GeoStudio is commonly used to tackle problems related to open pit design, groundwater flow and its effect on pit wall stability, or groundwater flow into underground mines. When considering excavations, GeoStudio can be used to establish in situ stresses and poor water pressure conditions, so that upon removal of the ground, rebound displacements can be computed. Dewatering and stability evaluations can be conducted or detailed stress paths can be monitored during transient changes in pore water pressure. Let's look at an example of a pit slope project file that is available on our website. The design of open pit mines involves various facets of engineering analysis, including slope stability and groundwater flow analysis. These two analysis types are combined to create a design that maximizes pit slope angles. In this particular example, a conventional limit equilibrium analysis is conducted to determine the maximum overall pit slope angle. This example utilizes the multiple geometry feature of GeoStudio to quickly compare the influence of slope angle on the critical factor of safety in a single project file. Further analyses could have been added to consider other influences, such as a tow berm, on the design's critical factor of safety. GeoStudio is also used extensively in the environmental sector to solve problems related to mine site and landfill closure, contaminant transport and remediation, and the design and operation of mines that minimize the impact on the environment. GeoStudio can address issues from pre-construction and construction stages, as well as long-term performance. Differing levels of complexity can be considered, including steady state and transient processes, or the coupling of heat, 
gas, and water fluxes with contaminant transport models or with slope stability models, giving you a comprehensive solution. Let's take a look at two examples from our website that analyze environmental protection problems. This one-dimensional analysis was created to illustrate how SEEPW can be used to study the processes observed in heap leaching. Heap leaching is a mining process to extract minerals from the ore by sprinkling a leach solution on a pile, or heap, of ore. Various steady state and transient analyses were used to represent varying conditions. For example, this first analysis simulates a very low rate applied to the surface which is representing natural rainfall falling on the pile without leaching. The second set of analyses was used to consider a changing leaching rate from a low rate to a high rate over a period of four days. While the third set considers the leaching rate changing from a high rate to a low rate over a period of 10 days. The resulting volumetric water content profiles can be visualized using the graphing feature in GeoStudio making it easier to interpret the flow regime and patterns experienced under the varying leaching rates. The second example I will show you today uses SEEPW and CTRANW to analyze the transport of cesium-137 into an unconfined aquifer. It is assumed that a building and parking lot covers a portion of the ground surface of this domain, limiting the area for infiltration and cesium-137 fallout from an illustrative nuclear weapon testing exercise circa the 1950s. Two transient analyses are considered to compare the simulation with and without the effect of decay and adsorption on the contaminant transport in the subsurface. The cesium-137 fallout at the ground surface was assumed to be a finite source that infiltrates into the subsurface with the assumed annual groundwater recharge. Ground freezing and climate change is another challenge that GeoStudio products can help you better understand and analyze. The thermal response of the ground can be a major concern for many engineering and earth science problems, including degradation of permafrost due to construction or climate change, artificial ground freezing during construction activities, and the effect of convective heat transfer on earth embankments or soil cover performance. GeoStudio can consider heat transfer with phase change due to conduction and convection. Let's take a look at two examples that use TempW. The first example uses Temp3D to simulate the influence of duct ventilation on permafrost degradation under a constructed embankment. Thermal degradation can lead to unstable foundations, which can cause instabilities of roadway and railway embankments. In this example, which was cut into a smaller section to reduce file size and solving time, the conditions on the inner surface of the ventilation duct was simulated using the convective surface boundary condition. Opening and closing of the shutters in the duct was taken into account, and the resulting thermal regime of this simulation was compared to a conventional embankment. Here you can see a tornado plot which helps compare the temperature profile along the center line of the embankment in each scenario. In this last example, passive cooling in a constructed embankment was simulated. As you can see, convective cells developed in the embankment due to the passive cooling within the coarse embankment material. This simulation considers both air and heat transfer on the same model domain, coupling air W and temp W. Natural convection in these coarse embankments can prevent thawing of the underlying permafrost, but can also enhance seasonal freezing beneath the embankments which may exacerbate frost heave problems in certain cold climates. All the GeoStudio products mentioned have been conveniently packaged into various licensed bundles depending on your project's needs. Let's quickly review what each of these bundles are and the common projects they can be used for. The two-dimensional products can be purchased as a single product or via one of these four GeoStudio bundles. The GeoStudio Core bundle includes Slope W, Seep W, and Sigma W. It was designed with geotechnical engineers in mind and provides a comprehensive solution for the civil and mining sectors. 
The Geo Studio Flow Bundle includes SeepW, TempW, and CTRANW. It was designed for the environmental and climate change sectors, such as environmental protection and climate change examples we have discussed in this video, as well as other Vados Zone hydrology and land climate interaction scenarios. Geo Studio Pro and Geo Studio Max bundles give you the option for even more Geo Studio products, depending on how many users and sectors your project span. This gives you a bundled option if you have projects that expand across multiple sectors or if you are interested in analyzing earthquake or dynamic conditions. All 3D products are currently bundled into either the Seep 3 d or Temp 3 d bundle. These bundles include the 2D and 3D physics of either SeepW or TempW, as well as the 3D geometry creation tool Build3D. For more information on any of the Geo Studio licenses or products, please contact our sales department. For technical questions, you can create a support ticket on our support platform, which can be found on our website. Thank you for taking time today to learn more about GeoStudio.